All right, so we've touched a little bit on anatomy of a Wikipedia article already, but I do want to spend some time on our uh, chapter this week. Um, I do want to point out a few things since it will help inform you as an information literate citizen. So one thing you'll likely hear me bring up several times is this idea that research is an iterative process. This means that your research doesn't take a straight line that's part of research. Um, it's a process. It's one where you start out with your core bit of information, your core understanding. You build off that core. Maybe you go back and you write a little bit more. Um, maybe you discover you have some holes in your understanding. You go back and you do some more research. Um, and and then you you know you continue to refine this process you continue to go through this process because it's iterative again not in a straight line um so so going back and doing more research and continuing to do this process this can be part of why many of you feel like there's a lot of information out there and you don't know when to stop lots of people have this problem this is a huge problem um, for many, many researchers, when do you know when to stop? Hard to know. Um, one of my hopes is by the end of this class, um, you feel a little bit better about this, about knowing when to stop doing your research, because again, there is so much information out there, um, and a little bit more prepared to do your research and do your work in light of all of this um, information. Um, so one tip, one thing to think about is trying to form a habit of always looking for new information. Um, again, like I've been saying, research is iterative and part of this process is you're going to want to continue to look for more information. Um, this ideally will naturally happen as part of your research process. Um, for example, as you become more comfortable with a topic, you'll understand it a little bit better and you'll understand those keywords and phrases. So research um, and researchers often have a special language that they use or often refer to things in a special way um, that isn't necessarily clear to you as someone just starting research or just entering a field. This is especially true I find in the sciences but it's also true for every subject area um, so as you understand the the discipline a little bit better you'll understand again those key words and key phrases a little bit better meaning you can go back to some of those databases or some of those places you did your research um, and make a more refined search I personally modify my searches all the time it's just part of the research process part of learning and understanding a topic um, so and I will also again point out take notes about your process this is another instance where you're going to want to take notes write down what you searched write down that search string write down where you searched for it what database you use um, and again this way as you're writing notes I'm sure you have a lot of things going on this way when you come back to a project maybe a week later um, you can see oh this is what I did <laughs> uh, and I don't have to repeat it or this is how I found these results I will also point out there are some excellent simple straightforward charts to help you figure out what you don't know because again this chapter is all about identifying what you don't know as we get into exploring our topics next week definitely use those charts we'll have a short discussion next week about finding information so think about that just file that away so that's it for my talk this week that's um chapter one is a nice short chapter um remember make sure you go through the wikipedia training this week um again first you'll want to sign up for the companion wikipedia site it's a separate site from moodle but i've got it linked in moodle so um ideally you'll just have to sign into moodle and then it's just another click away um but that companion site is really important because it helps us see how we're growing as a class helps us kind of track how things are changing as a class um so and then so to get to the training of course go to the companion site and you're going to go look in the top left corner click training and then click on the training for students make sure you're signed in with your wikipedia username please so we can track it um and i think that's it so good luck of course let me know if you have any questions um i'm more than happy to help as i can um and happy editing